after he saw the mushroom cloud of the first atomic bomb detonation at the Trinity site in New Mexico, father of the atomic bomb, Robert Oppenheimer, said, Now I have become death, the destroyer of the world. He was quoting from the Bhagavad Gita, the sixth book of the Mahabharata, a Sanskrit epic from ancient India speaking of great war that took place in remote times, which brought much death and destruction. Some verses allude to nuclear warfare and this is exactly what made Oppenheimer and others consider the possibility of an ancient nuclear war that had took place on Earth way before the Second World War and the first nuclear bomb detonation. Both the Mahabharata and the Ramayana depict the catastrophic outcome of the war waged between the Rama Empire and the enemy considered by some to have been the Empire of Atlantis. The Mahabharata reads Gurkha, flying a swift and powerful Vimana, hurtled a single projectile charged with the power of the universe. An incandescent column of smoke and flame, as bright as ten thousand suns, rose with all its splendor. It was an unknown weapon, an iron thunderbolt, a gigantic messenger of death, which reduced to ashes the entire race of the Vrishnis and the Andakas. The corpses were so burned as to be unrecognizable. Hair and nails fell out. Pottery broke without apparent cause, and the birds turned white. After a few hours, all foodstuffs were infected. To escape from this fire, the soldiers threw themselves in streams to wash themselves and their equipment. Researchers have had a hard time dating these sacred Hindu texts due to the lack of organic material present at the sites where they were found. Some interpreters believe the events depicted occurred about 24,000 years ago, while others date the Empire of Rama to 7,300 before Christ. Physical evidence in the form of glass is scattered throughout various deserts of the world. Sand transforms into glass at temperatures above 1,800 degrees Celsius, and scientists agree the only way this could have happened would be due to a meteorite impact. However, there is no crater to attest that, not even after scanning from a satellite. Instead, the atomic testing grounds in New Mexico might offer a clue of the glass's origin. At the place where the atomic bomb has impaled the ground, a considerable yellowish-green glass crater had formed. But there's so much glass spread across the desert that a bomb 10,000 times more powerful than ours would have been needed to produce that amount. And this is exactly what Ramayana, the second major ancient Indian epic, describes. It was a weapon so powerful that it could destroy the earth in an instant, a great soaring sound in smoke and flames, and on it sits death. Tutankhamun's pendant, displayed at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, also bears a piece of the destruction. In the middle section of the necklace is embedded a scarab made of yellow glass from the Egyptian desert. After dating the item, researchers realized it originated earlier than the Egyptian civilization itself. And yet again, the impact of a meteorite was credited for the piece, but there was still no evidence of where the object had hit. However, the ancient Hindu epics offer more clues for what could have formed this desert glass. The Mahabharata describes a rain of fire arrows which produced effects similar to the shockwave of a nuclear explosion. I quote, Thence arrows of flame, like a great shower, issued forth upon creation, encompassing the enemy. Fierce wind began to blow upward, showering dust and gravel. Birds croaked madly, the very elements seemed disturbed. The earth shook, scorched by the terrible, violent heat of this weapon. Elephants burst into flame, 
and ran to and from the frenzy over a vast area. Other animals crumpled to the ground and died. From all points of the compass, the arrows of flame rained continuously and fiercely. Located on the modern-day territories of Pakistan and India, the ruins of Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa had been deserted and leveled to the ground at the same time more than 4,500 years ago. Skeletal remains at the site of Mohenjo-Daro were found holding their hands as if an inevitable cataclysm was heading their way. Beneath the coat of sand, archaeologists also discovered a layer of radioactive ash. So what might have caused the mysterious demise of this great civilization with highly advanced urban areas encompassing superior irrigation and drainage systems, communal baths, multi-store buildings, granaries, calculated trading practices, and board games like chess? Was it because the Indus River had changed course as researchers suspect, or rather due to a great war that had brought the entire region to its knees, both literally and metaphorically? Drone Parva, the seventh book of the Mahabharata, describes such an event. We beheld in the sky what appeared to us to be a scarlet cloud resembling the fierce flames of a blazing fire. From that mass, many blazing missiles flashed, and tremendous roars, like the noise of a thousand drums, beaten at once. And from it fell many weapons, winged with gold, and thousands of thunderbolts with loud explosions, and many hundreds of fiery wheels. We can only guess if the Vedas texts are referring to an ancient atomic war which took place over these territories. If so, there are numerous aspects which intrigue us. Were there really flying vessels similar to our own back then? Were these gods depicted in the Hindu scriptures mortal men that have reached a higher level of technological evolution? Or rather a group of extraterrestrial beings that have descended upon the earth in archaic times? Whatever the case, we can let our imagination wander.